The Thunder going to be playing a ton of games here in the month of February. And how about right off the tip, Diallo tracks down that loose ball and gets right inside the lane. <laughs> well, so many guys, Mike, oftentimes will just kind of ease into it as there is a turnover. The pass was intercepted by Romy. He'll take it himself right down the lane with the stuff available tonight for Minnesota. As he tested positive for COVID. And he, here is Minnesota on the break. And how about Malik Beasley getting up above the rim? Deck with a guard defending him. And he has that ability to do that. You know, certainly. And he's got the green light to take that shot. Well, he has to. And he's wide open. And that's a, that's a terrific look for him as well as Malik Beasley knocks down the three. The Wolves without Cat Towns would struggle to score the basketball, but not with those attacking guards. They are not rudderless. Oh, how about that move by Isaiah Roby at his back to the basket in the quick spin. That's where the closer he gets to the basket, that's where his height becomes a factor and a plus for him. And Beasley from 17 feet shooting it over Beasley. So the Thunder after building that early lead now trailing here in this first quarter. Horford pops out, bases up, and drills the three. He was certainly ready. So Rubio handling the point, kicks it out. Beasley's got his second three, and Malik Beasley, whose offense has exploded with Minnesota. So many different ball handlers. If you can grab that rebound off of those misses, as Miller eyes the three, and that one rattles in, and it's got to feel good for Darius Miller. It's really good ball movement as well. It changed hands quite a bit. How about that steal by Darius Miller as well? And Diallo cutting right to the rim. Beautiful fast break execution. Under had excellent rotation on defense the last possession. One of those situations where you want to rinse, wash, repeat. Well, Diallo tried to take the charge, but... Vanderbilt with the aggressive dunk there. Williams waiting the arrival as Rubio tries to procrastinate. The first look was taken away. Here is a drive by Beasley, still able to score. I mean, you were late getting to the last shooter, but the first couple of rotations were pretty solid. Help defense came over. Horford splits the two defenders, lays it up and in. And again, it is null. As he's got his second consecutive made jumper. Well, the Thunder trying to conduct offense even with that thinned out backcourt as Lehman finally finds the bottom of the net with that three. Some kind of movement going and some kind of balance out there on the floor. So it's Diallo. Got a head start. Floats and got the bounce. In the early part of this season, Lehman no on the three. Instead, he got blocked by Muscala, who was protecting the rim. Diallo slides it inside, and a nice finish there by Jackson. Roby back on the floor, and he was stripped. Those long arms of McDaniels. Minnesota out of the break. Vanderbilt will score on the run. Survived a real wobbly moment there. I call it wobbly. Where you're just kind of, your offense kind of stalled a little bit. Orford, Roby, and Muscala, but Bagnall. Comes back in with Baisley. Roby steps back and puts it in. That three, Isaiah Roby from downtown. Oh, still shooting just 36% on the night. Okogie really going to shoot the three. You know he wants to drive instead. Roby's going to tie him up momentarily. Fell and then blocked the shot. And then the foul on Reed. Let's stay with the business at hand. You're happy with the defensive stand there. As Horford, that's going to be a blocking foul and a possible and one. Where he's ripped the ball away and started a fast break for either himself or his teammates. And what a great find. Another assist there for Hamadou Diallo. Who's now got 14 in Diallo. Eight assists, but D'Angelo Russell a quick three back on the other end. On both ends for both teams. Horford's going to set the screen there for Williams. Faces up on Reed. Steps outside. That's automatic. So efficient. Seven out of nine on the night. See if Minnesota can settle for the final possession. Nope, Russell threw it away. Three on one. Thunder going to hurry up. And how about Diallo taking flight? It'll be interesting to see how he matches up with Cat Towns once he gets back. And Horford knocked it free momentarily, but Beasley was able to stay with the play all the way to the rim. And a great opportunity there. And now it's Reed getting back. And he will slam it home.
And here he is, a little hesitation on the drive there. One of his favorite plays from the right side going against the grain. Transition three, and D'Angelo Russell cans it from the outside. Hunter Holmstead drawing it near its end. Will end tomorrow night before heading back to the West Coast. Shot clock under five, Baisley, nice drive, had the step in the reverse layup with the right hand. <laughs> Good job of not stepping out of bounds. Reed, and he's going to have himself another possible and one. Ready for that backdoor cut, right? Absolutely. Big part of that. Not to UCLA out of the NCAA tournament. There was a straightaway three by Beasley. Point. Edwards has not been able to find his offense really throughout the night until then. Horford again. Oh, he left wide open, just takes his free throw. Ball tapped out by Roby, keeps it alive. Horford sidesteps and scores inside. Distribute the basketball with those four assists. The Thunder just find ways to keep putting points on the scoreboard here with a limited roster. And there is more as Mike Muscala's got his second three of the night. Wanted it back momentarily. Russell trying to direct traffic instead gives it up. And so Edwards fires and this time he's got a three after missing his first five. Minnesota's led by as many as eight. The Thunder have led by as many as eight. Russell has another one. Thunder get back defensively. Williams momentarily knocked free. Russell, no. Thunder want to start the break. Two on one. It's Roby and Jackson. Nice dump off, and Jackson's able to finish. Over to the corner. Edwards passed up the three. Collapsed on outside Noel. His three is good. Some made threes because of the dribble penetration. As Miller has himself another three. That's his second of the night. You know, Horford, you know, just being that point forward or center out there, I don't know what you want to call it today, folks. Well, the Thunder haven't been able to slow down Noel on the night. He's now got 14. The Pelicans shot a high percentage. Beasley, another three. Miller, catch fire three, and he's got his third of the night. Even a little smile from Darius Miller. Thunder invariably here going to Horford on the offensive end. Draws a double team. Kicks out to Muscala. He wants the three. He's got the three. And the Thunder have climbed back to within one here in the fourth. Backdoor cut and boy, Lehman with the reverse jam. Where did that come from? Sales out of bounds. Well, this one has been thug th snug throughout as Jackson Rattles it home from downtown. Another three for the Thunder. They're giving him a dose of the dose right now. Third quarter is what the was the difference on the scoreboard with the threes that the T-Wolves were making with that defensive rebound. Beasley coming off of that double-double the other night. Muscala didn't quite slip it under Reed. Rubio to Reed. Reed, and he'll finish with the right hand. And besides the obvious thing that you question there is that a possible goal 10, which it wasn't. Minnesota has regained the lead. Thanks to a 7-1 run, but Baisley trying to put a stop to it does. So spinning, throws it away. Got caught in no man's land. Three on two for the Thunder. Williams dumps it up. Baisley with the two-handed slam. Thunder have shored that up. Not a lot of open looks from three for Minnesota is Reed. Series of moves nicely done there on the left-handed hook shot. Catch anything. Sailed right into the arms of Williams. Oh, he turns the corner. Nice move. Kenrich Williams. Looking for some space to operate. As he gets sent back out to the perimeter here to Russell. And he'll put it up from the elbow. Angelo Russell with that smooth stroke. Into the front court. Leaves it off. Horford. Williams will track down the rebound. Fresh 14. Horford on the reload. Eyes the three and get the three. Thunder play for overtime. Game clock at five. Russell straight away. Three and he got it. And D'Angelo Russell taking matters into his own hands. Williams will enter it in. Thunder going to have to move quickly. Horford outside. Diallo hesitation. Three and. 